Hello guys and girls and welcome to One More AI Artist TV. I'm your host Ketaros and today we're going to be talking about backgrounds. I believe background is a very important part of every any creation that you are doing with AI and most of the time it's pretty much forgotten. We got so much more focus on, on the subject that we are trying to do, the actor or something like that and we forgot how important is the background. I will pick a specific one. I will be working with the sunset and I will show you every step of it. I'm going to be using the same process as I did last video, which I like very much. It's walked through my whole process part by part of the, of the prompt. So you can understand exactly everything you can do and the most you can do with, with background and work with that. Okay. I hope you enjoy it. In the end of this video, I hope you have amazing skill of dealing with background and playing with background and all parts that, that deal with that and how it's related with the picture. Okay. Stay with me. Let's go there and let's have some fun. I will start this prompt very small saying that I want a sunset and I don't want much more than that. So let's see what Mid Journey give us. So here we are. Without giving any information for Mid Journey, what kind of sunset, what I would like to. It gives me a very generic one, three different, four different styles, four different setups, maybe a little bit of Africa, maybe a little bit on that term, but it's pretty much random. It's just a sunset. As I said, we're going to be slicing uh, this subject in many different parts. The first one that this one that I'm calling here, I would just call the main. This is the main part of our sunset, I would say of our background, which is most important is the sunset. So. Let's now work on the quality of this background. Before the, the word sunset, I'm now going to add the word beautiful. And just to show you how that matters, I'll put beautiful and I'll put ugly sunset. And then you'll see that me journey will understand how it needs to put little more work and effort to make something beautiful or to become more ugly. Let's see the results. Okay, as we can see here, when I say beautiful sunset, me journey puts much more effort on reflections, on elements, on different planes. He gives me a lot of things that make something become more beautiful. As you see, as you see here, he put a silhouette of an island. He put reflections on most of them. He put a beautiful reflection of the sign of water. He did reflections in the in, in the shadows. He put a little bit uh, something in the silhouette covering a little bit the sun here. He makes a lot of effort to make it to be a beautiful sunset image that we are having. When we don't put the word beautiful or when we just put the a word like ugly we can put ugly horrible chaotic anything you want to put you're going to see that me now makes something because for ugly he puts a pile of trash in front in front of the sun disappear with the sun here put like a robotic face some electronic face in top of it i like a very trashy junk as well he makes a lot of clouds very horrible silhouettes of, uh, of the trees here the water you can barely see that the reflection like was a mud or something like that so the quality matters what you put before the sunset. I don't know many environments that you can use. I know sunset. I know Aurora Borealis. There are some other that you can use. Okay, moving on now from the, the quality. The next thing we're going to be using here now is what I would call style. Style is something very important and it's something that can really make a lot of change on what you're working on. So we're going to work with this uh, carefully and also control a little bit the results I'm gonna be. So what I'm talking here is something that goes between the quality and the main. So I'm gonna do four different ones for you to see how it works. I will put beautiful anime sunset, cartoon sunset, Disney sunset, and I will make another one that I will call photorealistic sunset. All those that I'm putting here is what I call on the engineering where we are calling the style. So we have now the quality style and sunset. So let's see results. Okay, guys, when we are waiting the result of the last prompt, let me ask you two very simple stuff that everyone asked, by, uh, by the way. Uh, first one is to subscribe to this channel. If you subscribe to this channel, you show to me that you like prompt engineering, you like what I'm doing here, and you want to see more prompt engineering videos. And this means a lot to me. And the second one is to like this video. And if you are liking this video, please give the like. If you're not liking it yet, give the like anyway. In the end of the video, if you really finish the video without liking it you can remove the like okay subscribe and like and help me toss thank you so much let's go back and see the result of the prompt okay we got here the four results and let's go one by one to see what's happening here so when i add the anime uh anime or anime uh, on on the picture what happened is this it adds elements a lot besides the fact now it has much more style of anime in the in my background it added pretty much uh, a girl here, better name style as well in the picture. And that's what I said when I, when you use style, you're going to be adding a lot of stuff in the picture sometimes, but I will show how to control that. We have it here, the cartoon one, more, more cartoonish. We have much more style of cartoons. We have more the, the rounding and, the, and the, the colors of cartoon. No much elements added because it doesn't bring that classic elements of all cartoon here. It could have, sometimes they put a car, sometimes they put a tree more cartoonish, but that's how where we go. 
we have it here at the Disney. Uh, and also, you see it, it adds some elements. It had the Disney cast in the background, but more Disney colors, more the, the grading colors of Disney. We have much more Disney feeling. And then we go here for the photorealistic one, which gives them even much more a sense of real picture, like a real take, a real camera take, take that picture. And by the way, this in the end, in the end of this video, not necessarily as a background. This can be just a landscape that you want to, to create. And here we are, the, the photorealist one, also much more feeling of a real photo being taken. Okay, um, as I said, we're gonna control here though, those problems that add elements. And the best way to control this problem, most of the time, after the, the last tag here that we're gonna put, is called use. One, as I use this background, just saying that's a background, and the other one is saying scenery. Those two words helps a lot. Let's put here both for you to see. And I'm gonna be beautiful, I named sunset background. So this is already half, and I will keep, I name it because it's the hardest one to control. So let's put scenery and background, and let's see the results that I have with adding those two words. And I know it will not maybe eliminate the growth totally, but will give me much less or even none. Okay, we go here the results. And as you see, when I put scenery, the growth that was so much appearing as an actor in the pictures doesn't show anymore. She's still showing in the background. She's still showing there. There's some people that you see here. There's one people here, one people here, one people here, two people here. If you really want to go to, to remove totally the, the people in this, I will show you. We got to have to be using a negative prompt. I will show how to do that. And it's okay. It's a control prompt that I, as I call. And this is using scenery. This is using background. As you see in background, the, the, they don't show anymore. So if you want to just create a landscape now, maybe you can go in the path of scenery and continue this video, but everything else I'm saying, I'm going to be using background, but you can use a scenery. So that's when we are working now. Now I'll be to understand this is a background. So the actor is not here yet. To control what's the damage that was happening here. Uh, oh, and I have this picture here. And even though here, uh, when, when they have a person here, what we can add in the end of the prompt is control call no. We can put dash dash no. Human and actor. When we do that, we're going to lower even more the chance of having any kind of actor showing up in the picture here. Let's see result. Okay, so here we now have now the result of using dash dash no human comma actor. It pretty much removes most of it. This will help you to control more. It still can happen, but load one, two times, probably going to get better results without any human and actor here. Okay, let's move on here. So now we have an uh, uh, anime um, background, very stylish with the color, with the stretches of the anime. Now we're gonna talk about the medium. Medium is something that will do a big influence on, on the image that we are working here. So right now, uh, me Jerry is pretty much doing a general illustration, but now we're gonna specify a little bit more how, what kind of illustration we need here. For this type of background here, I'm gonna be adding the medium that wanna be working on the whole image that we're gonna, that we're gonna be doing. Not only for the background, but you can use the, the medium now to specify here. Uh, what I'm talking about, let's put here the oil painting. When we use oil painting, we're gonna have to use another control here. So now I'm gonna add in more things to our negative prompt here. Because the word painting can be something related to subject, I'm gonna be adding here uh, no human, actor, canvas, and frames. Okay, so you don't do any painting in the wall or something like that. I'm gonna be doing here a vector, watercolor, put airbrush. I, I love airbrush, most we don't use airbrush. So I'm giving here four different videos, let's see the results now. Okay guys, sorry to interrupt you again, but while we are waiting the last prompt to load, let me tell something which is extremely important and it make a lot of sense for you. Uh, together with this channel here, I have uh, another project called AI Honest in the Patreon, which we have now around 120 members that I want you to come and join us. Of course, besides the fact that you're supporting my work as well support i'm doing here and you get support for three dollars up to fifty dollars it gives different access all of the members have access to a very special google drive with a lot of database of terms that i'm using here where i organize i would say all my knowledge about prop engineering there so when you when you join this you're gonna have access to this google drive where where i divided different folders equipments reference subject terms list then a lot of things you're gonna have access for example to a database of more than two thousand artists the divided by painters, cartoonists, photographers, sculptors, so you understand how to refer and what is each kind of this artist is. We're gonna have access to, to, to a database of expressions, poses, and, and how I'm, everything I would classify as poses. We're gonna have lights and how the study of lights, how lights behaves, and also analysis of every light. The methods, all possible methods. We have a more than 120 methods here for you to understand every possible method. Film stocks for pictures and for photos, all this. There are more than, I would say there are more than 30 databases 
already of many terms to use in e-journey. Uh, that's the address that I'm putting here to tell you to show. Come join us. Besides the, the access to all this knowledge that I'm classifying and organizing, you're going to have access to the Discord channel. We are, we are a little more than 500 members. Come as well. We're going to be joining the AI artist channel. Talking to us. Getting different channels here. We have to talk about art, business, and etc. Join us. That's the address for the Patreon. Support me. Have access to all this knowledge. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you like it. Let's go back to see the proper result. Okay, here we are. Here we have now the anime style more oil panty. I think it's pretty much what kind of what they are doing already before. Didn't change that much with oil painting, but now I'm defining that's a painting. Uh, and uh, it's it gives us more controls that you that we can do with oil painting. Now we have here a factor. Vector makes a big influence when we are used, especially when we use anime style. So it's two hips have some anime style here, but Vector is a very strong medium to, to work with. A uh, very strong style to, to work with, so it maybe conflict a little bit with anime, anime. But it's interesting that we can use Vector as well. Now we have one that I like. I like a lot because um, when we use watercolor with anime, it's pretty much a, a very common medium that anime uses. So we have a very good watercolor, watercolor with, with anime here. And the last one here, I by the way, I removed the control, the last one here for the airbrush. I took out the you no know, human no actor and you see the, the humans back again. And we have here the airbrush. I'm going to be moving on with, with airbrush here. I will put back the, the control. So now we have the medium defined. And we have now the, the beautiful I named sunset background. Now we're going to be moving a little bit further. Now we're going to add a specification to what kind of sunset I want to have. What kind of, what is this image that, that I'm working on. That goes after, sure, medium is the beginning. That's go right right after the, the medium. I'll give you four examples that we, that we can use here. So we're going to add airbrush. I will keep airbrush. I like airbrush. I never use airbrush. I will use a little more of airbrush now. Beach. Now I put a beach. Now I'm saying that I want a beach. On. Beach on. You have, we got, every time we're going to specify, now I'm going to use on because now I'm talking about the weather. Okay. So beach on beautiful. I named sunset background. I'm going to add here, besides beach, I'm going to add as well forest. Let's add here lake. Let's add here as well a city. Give me four different examples here as see the results now. Okay, here we have the results. Uh, airbrush, beach. So here we have the beach. Why, why am I not taking out the... Why am I not putting the no actor and no humans? Because I work with the background and one of them coming with the actor for me is no problem. So here we have the, the beach backgrounds in name style on airbrush. Uh, we have here the forest. The background with 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 the uh, anime style for forest ground and we have here the lake which is beautiful very beautiful as well a, a lake on anime style and we have here the city and see the landscape on the anime style as a beautiful background okay so this is very interesting but so far i'm i'm, I'm talking this is a background and i'm not adding what i want here and uh, to wrap up now i'm going to make this become a background this is part of the subject this is the second part of the subject and we can specify a lot of stuff especially now that i put a new element here city we can specify for risk city medieval, medieval city busy city we can add a lot of stuff to that to the city of course as well because there's that it's a second element that I add here besides the sunset. And now we're going to add one more. So let's take here. I will put here uh, the airbrush. Let's make a one for a couple huggy on the beach. I named the sunset background. Let's do the, another one. Viking warrior in a forest. Beautiful. I named sunset background. And let's do another one here. Two kitten cats on the, uh, on the city. See on a beautiful and in background. Let's see the results we have here because now everything we are doing, I really use as a background. Okay, here we are with the results. Uh, as you see here, uh, I put the the a couple huggy on the on the on the beach and the, on the beach with a beautiful sunset. Since I'm not giving much element on the the couple, of course, it becomes part of the the background. And this is uh, this is what I wanted. I wanted to show uh, something that's play with the background. And there, here we are, a couple uh, on the beach. We do have the Nim style on everything. We do have the air style on everything. And we have the sunset that we created that we asked for in the beach. I have here as well the Viking water on the forest sunset. It's uh, same goes as well. And we have here the two kittens, uh, the two kittens on the on the city background as well. So we can see here the two kittens very very clear. Um, so, and we have the, the beach background there. Um, to wrap up now, just to give a bonus, uh, to all you guys, one thing that I'm not adding here is the camera angle. And of course we can play with a lot of camera angles. For example, a panoramic view. Let's give a panoramic view in the Aurora Borealis with 3-2 and with, uh, 2-1. 
just to wrap up this video and show that now you can use weather conditions in the background and understanding what kind of elements you're going to use in the background and adding your actors in front of it. So here we are with the panoramic view. We're going to give a lot of background and we're going to give a little bit of the of the feeling that that we are we want for us now a hug a, a couple hugging instead of the beach now they are hugging in the in in, in the beach or in the, in the sunset now they hug as well in the in the beach in a beautiful Arabolealis. let's see the result okay guys here's the final result of the beautiful Arabolealis with the couple hugging on the beach i wrap up here uh this this video i hope you play more with background now i hope you use more creativity stuff on the background and and go more on this area is amazing to work with before you add your actor remember there's a whole things happening in the background that you can totally play with thank you so much see you guys next video